Hello everyone, this video is based on the final year project for computer students of batch 2021-2022. The project Smart Agriculture with Inbuilt Automated Plant Pathology System was conducted by the BECOM students team comprising of 5 members. Mr. Amatya Katan, Mr. Elrich Fernandez, Ms. Tejaswini Sel, Ms. Sheena Mashilkar and Mr. Elroy Gama under the guidance of Prof. Dr. Vivek Jog and co-guides Prof. Janvi Nayak and Prof. Sia Nayak of the Computer Department. Currently, there are several challenges faced by the agriculture industry, including the increasing demand of food and a high barrier to entry for inexperienced farmers. Also, up to 40% global crop production is lost to plant pests and diseases like wilt, leaf spots, pest attack and leaf curl. A portable polyhouse that can be installed on the terrace indoors and in the garden is used making it convenient for users to grow plants in their homes. The pump is automated using a soil moisture sensor which is connected to the Raspberry Pi. When no water is detected, the pump turns on and when it detects water, the pump stops. Event sensor is connected to the Raspberry Pi, which in turn is connected to the web application. This data will be sent across to the AWS DynamoDB table every 15 seconds. Now we can see that on the AWS table, we have obtained results directly using the internet from the Raspberry Pi. This data is directly linked to the web application once it's refreshed, and we can currently see that the web application also has uh, the same data present on the AWS table that is 28 degrees Celsius temperature and 90% humidity, which is the latest record present on the AWS table on DynamoDB. So we upload the image of a chili plant and the results are, the observations are that the chili plant is healthy. This is the leaf of a brinjal plant and it says that the confidence is 99.9 .9 and it's uh, healthy. And let us try some other random queries. I'm listening. How is the weather today? Please wait, searching. So it is searching the internet for an answer for this question. In your location at Monday, 4 p.m. the weather condition is mostly cloudy. That's the right. temperature in your location is 29 degrees Celsius. Precipitation, 20% humidity, 79% wind, 18 km forward slash 8 11 miles per hour. Let's try some random query. I'm listening. Which is the best season to grow crops in India? Please wait, searching. Again, searching the internet. Winter season in India is one of the best for gardening. For most part of the country, the light, temperature, and weather is just perfect for growing a variety of produce and it's pleasant to work in the garden too. Leaf spots are not much, but this is one leaf which has leaf spot. On it as you can see. Let's see if the application detects it. Okay. Let's bring our application towards the leaf. Okay. And from far on leaf, let's show it the leaf. Okay. So slide leaf spot. See, see, see. Now it is showing leaf spot. Same leaf, leaf spot. Okay. So it's working quite well over here. The future scope of this project is in scaling up this technology for bigger polyhouses that could be used at an industrial level and making use of solar cells to power up the system, making it more eco-friendly and helping us take a step ahead to a greener and sustainable future. Thank you very much.